Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a quick update for my last video. Those of you uh, who are shooting on adapted lenses like mine with the Vilchok EF M2 adapter, and I believe even the Metabones adapter, when they upgraded their firmware, there was an issue where the adapter itself was affected and the iris control no longer worked. Uh, so far, uh, from the Facebook pages, in case you guys aren't on there, I just want to let you guys know because I just did a firmware video uh, in case something happened to yours. The best way to fix the issue where the iris control is no longer available is you have to downgrade the Viltrox EF-M2 uh, to the 2.3 firmware. Alright guys, so uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, what we have to do now is go to the Viltrox website. Um, basically, you want to go to the Viltrox. You can just Google this um, like so. Alright, and we're just going to look up uh, Viltrox EF-M2 firmware install like so. And we should get just a regular link on how to install this and whatnot. You guys can follow other instructions if you like. That's totally fine. But I just want to share you, with you guys how to how I do mine. Uh, basically, we're going to look for EFM2. That's the model that we have. Uh, this is the EFM2. If you do not know that, um, that's what that is. We'll look for this one. But we want to find EFM2 version 2.3. Once we have 2.3, let's go ahead and click it uh, on the download part. And we'll go ahead and download it right here. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up like so. You see this little VTX file in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and copy this little VTX file directly over into this EF-MF2 uh, uh, folder or, or drive that's located on our computer when we plug in our adapter. This right here is a direct connection to that adapter. We'll just copy this EF-M2 uh, V2.3 VTX directly into that. Once we do that, our device is going to reboot. And it, it kind of turns it off so that it can do the firmware update itself. Once the update is done, it'll automatically turn back on. All right, now our device is back up and running. As you can see, it says EF uh, MFT uh, as an EF to micro four thirds, 0.71, which is the uh, scaling ratio on the lens uh, speed booster itself. And you are now downgraded to 2.3. Hopefully this fixes your issue with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K uh, firmware update. Uh, if that doesn't, please leave me a comment in the description below and we'll see if others can join in to help figure out any other issues that might come about with this firmware update. Uh, but I just wanted to create this video really quick for you guys that have not seen that information and that may be suffering and <laughs> don't know how to get that, that control back. Uh, this is how you do it. Definitely follow it. There is a fix for it so you can get your adapter working again. Alright, so that's just a quick video. Hopefully this helps you guys.